Yeah. Uh, Danny Clark also mentioned that Australia is now looking to have a march for Tommy Robson tomorrow. I see rumblings coming out of Australia. That'd be great if that happens. It'd be a big showing there. Also, I think it was also Danny made mention that um, Tommy's uh, solicitor was lied to and that a court solicitor was appointed to him. That's how he was able to go straight through and process. His own legal solicitor wasn't notified. It was lied to that he wasn't being processed or and at the time. And then he was processed straight away. And then a court appointed solicitor was given to him with no no defense. And he was processed straight away. So it's, it's clear to me that it's been orchestrated. He knew exactly Absolutely. what the rule Absolutely. Yep. Complete then, weaponization of the legal system. Right against the citizen of the UK. That's exactly what happened. Exactly, guys. It's so black and white evident. The source of the issue, right? Is it the fact that there was some ongoing case and you had a reporter out there reporting on it? That is not it. That's the result, right? It's getting locked up. That's the result. The source of this, the source is the weaponization of these legal systems against its citizens. That is the source. How did the source come about? People with money, dumping money into governments in which that they do not, do not have citizenships in should be a direct treasonous act for each and every one of them. Anybody that's throwing money around trying trying to circumvent the people's wishes. They should be held for treason in that country. That is the source of the problem, people. They are throwing their money around. They are getting people in compromising positions. Your elected officials have been compromised. They've got good dirt on them. They either comply or they get exposed. That's how it works, people. That is exactly how it works. And if they didn't get Tommy Robinson off the freaking street, somebody's head was going to roll. Let's find out who that is. That's the source. Let's find out. And um, again, I implore my president, put a spotlight on this Tommy Robinson thing, the media blackout, the fact that they're trying to criminalize talking about it. Now that's BS. Criminalize talking about, right, an incarceration and imprisonment within four hours of, of being arrested? Are you kidding me? What is this? Nazi Germany? Are you kidding me? Guys, we got to do something about it. We've got to come together, and I really, truly hope that we get a tweet within the next 30, 40 minutes from our president. I really do, because with just one little posting, right, he can actually put a complete spotlight on this, and he knows he can. He knows it. He's a smart man. He knows how to play the media. He's real good at it, and that's why we got him elected, because he knows how to get stuff done. You judge a man on his actions. You don't judge a man on what the freaking media tells you. You judge a man on his actions. And right now, I feel damn proud to salute my president. Damn proud. And so right now, the UK, they are our brothers. They are our brother patriots. Same thing with our brother patriots in Ireland, Australia, Germany. You all have rights, people. Under God, you have rights. And our president, he's going to crack it open. I know he will. But this man doesn't have enough time for a whole plan to play out. We need a spotlight on this yesterday. And again, Q, Q team, POTUS yourself, if you're listening. Please put a light on this Tommy Robson situation. This man does not deserve to die. And anyway, guys, I got a truck to load. I love you. God bless all you guys, and God bless this whole world.